So in this election, let's find the winner using Copeland's method, also called pairwise comparisons. Now we've actually kind of done this before when we were looking for the Condorcet winner. Uh, this method actually is what's called a Condorcet method. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this a try. The way it works is we're going to make uh, pairwise comparisons between the options. So we're going to start with uh, A and we're going to compare A to O. We're going to compare A to H and we're going to compare O to H. So we're going to make three different pairwise comparisons here. And we're going to look at relative ordering. So when we compare A to O, we're going to say of these, uh, of this one voter here, uh, do they prefer A or O? So they prefer A. A versus O, they prefer A. O versus A, they prefer O. A versus O, they prefer A. It doesn't matter that it's not their first choice. We can still tell from the preference schedule that these three people prefer A over O. So we have one, two, one, four, five, six, seven people preferring A, three people preferring O, and so A wins that pairwise comparison. So in Copeland's method, we assign points. Uh, you earn one point every time you win a comparison, and you earn half a point if you tie a comparison. So in this case, A just earned one point. So next, we're going to compare uh, A versus H. So in A versus H, these people prefer A, prefer A, prefer H, prefer H. And so six people prefer H, four people prefer O, and so H is preferred here, so H earns a point. Next, we'll look at O versus H, uh, and uh, these people prefer O, H, O, H, so we got six preferring H and four preferring O, so H wins here. And so A earns one point, O earns zero points, and H earns two points. Whoever earns the most number of points wins. Uh, and so in this case, H wins uh, under Copeland's method. Now, this method, uh, as you can tell, is based uh, very similar in the way that we determine the winner under the Condorcet, um, determine the Condorcet winner. So this method will always satisfy uh, the Condorcet winner criterion. That doesn't mean it's perfect, as we'll see later.